Houghton and the Great Green Wave take their winning ways to Delaware, Ohio, and the Little Brown Jug. Will Houghton continue his run in victory lane? Find out in the fifth installment of Master Pace Theater. At Delaware, Ohio, in the $133,000 Little Brown Jug, Bill Houghton again took over the driving assignment behind Armbro Omaha. One of four Houghton color bearers entered in this most prestigious pace. In the first elimination mile, the Houghton trained Brett Starr, one for his regular driver, Mike Gagliardi. Bill finished third with Belmont Shadow. Title holder leads the way. Armbro O'Brien down along the rail is second. Dorado Almahurst third on the outside. Racing in fourth, Belmont Shadow fifth and moving up mirror image and moving right with him, Brett Starr. Brett Starr three wide and flying as they go down the back stretch. And Brett Starr is going for the lead. Down along the inside, title holder is now second. Moving up third, Dorado Almahurst. Racing off stride is mirror image and racing fourth along the inside is Armbro O'Brien. Belmont Shadow is fifth as they turn for home. Brett Starr has opened a four-length gap on the field as they turn into the stretch. It's Brett Starr, title holder, down along the inside. Belmont Shadow on the outside, Dorado Almahurst and Armbro O'Brien. But Brett Starr, an eight-length winner in the first heat of the Little Brown Jug. In the second elimination, Armbro Omaha showed his class. Boyden Hanover leads the way. Down along the inside, Tarport Low and Armbro Omaha driving up on the outside, followed by Starred by Brett. Now fifth at the rail, Keystone Presto. As they go to the back stretch, Boyden Hanover has the lead. Armbro Omaha driving up on the outside, Tarport Low third, down along the rail. Going to the three-quarter mile mark, Boyden Hanover leads by a neck. Armbro Omaha second on the outside, Tarport Low is third, starred by Brett fourth. Pickwick Barron moves up now fifth on the outside, and Keystone Presto along the rail. Boyd and Hanover draws out to a two and a half length lead. Armbro Omaha is second. Down along the inside, Tarport Low, and up on the outside, starred by Brett. In the lane, it's Boyd and Hanover under a drive. Armbro Omaha takes the lead. It's Armbro Omaha winning the second elimination of the jug in 157. And then in the final, the senior Houghton showed that he not only is one of Harness Racing's greatest trainers, but one of its finest race drivers as well. Watch and listen as Bill Houghton drives Armbro Omaha to victory and tells about the race. The start of the final heat, Brett Starr, my other horse, who won the other division, had the rail, but he doesn't leave very fast, and I went right on to the front. Then Boyd and Hanover tried to go to the front, but Pickwick Barron came across fast from the outside and shut him off and went on around me. This uh, left a little tough journey for Boyd and going to the quarter pole. And that's uh, Pickwick Barron in front, Boyd and moving up on the outside. I'm in the three hole now, and that star is fourth. Boyden made the top just past the quarter pole, and then he started to back up pretty good along in here. Um, after we straightened away in the lane, Brett Starr ran up on top of me and hit my tire a couple times. We were very fortunate that he didn't cut it. And then uh, this is Belmont Shadow. The other horse moving up fast, and I had to move out to keep from getting trapped and pushed in three deep, but then I let him go on around going into the turn so that I could follow him to the backside. That's Boyden still in front, Pickwick Barron in the two hole, and Belmont Shadow on the outside. And now as we straighten away in the backside, I moved out to get around Belmont Shadow before we, I didn't want to have to go three deep when we got to the turn. Now I've got head and head with Boyden, and Brett Starr moves up here and follows me. And I thought he'd be awful tough from here home the way he finished the first heat. I did figure that Boyden would let go the same as he did the other heat. But he held on much better this heat right on down to the wire. It was just the last couple feet that I got by.
a proud and happy Dorothy Houghton joins her husband in Victory Lane.